நீயில்லாத நாளல்ல நாளாகுமா நீயில்லாத வாழ்வல்ல வாழ்வாகுமா Book of Genesis chapter 45 verse 28 and Israel said I am convinced my son Joseph is still alive I will go and see him before I die This is not as simple as it sounds it has a profound meaning and God's great plan when Jacob said he was going to Egypt to see his son Joseph it was an essential moment in God's plan what's the plan in Genesis chapter 15 we can see God revealing his plan to Abraham that his people will serve in a strange country for 400 years but will come out with great possessions Joseph going to Egypt was part of God's big redemption plan and certainly Jacob had to go there in order to fulfill God's promise so when Jacob said I want to go to Egypt it was not his own plan but God's great plan hallelujah amen according to God's plan Jacob and his family went to Egypt and approximately for 430 years God protected them After a long tenure in Egypt the Israelites came out of that foreign land with great possessions under the leadership of Moses and then with Joshua as the leader they all possessed Canaan the promised land hallelujah amen dear people of god when Jacob said i want to go to Egypt it had a significant effect on god's great plan likewise even in our lives The smallest things may contain a big turning point in God's plan. So don't take anything lightly. Don't take small things in your life for granted. It may look ordinary to you, but everything is at the center of God's plan. When God promises something, he will see to it that it comes through. The season of fulfillment is just around the corner. God is going to do everything he has promised. Be prepared. Trust in the Lord. The time of God's favor is here. The time of God's fulfillment is here. Be assured of God's blessing. The time for God to exalt you is here. Whatever you do will end in victory. The God who promised Jacob and Abraham has promised us as well. We are promised eternal life. Amen. His promise will be fulfilled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you.